do you do, Storyteller here? I'm a little bit annoyed because yesterday I uploaded a video. It was about an hour long of just me talking to you guys. Um, nothing sad or traumatic or anything, just talking. And in that video, I rolled up my sleeve and drew a fake tattoo on myself. It's the design for the tattoo I'm actually going to be getting tomorrow, so Story's going to get another tattoo. Yes, I already have one, but I'm going to get another tomorrow. But yeah, I sat and drew the whole tattoo out, and I talked about past memories, and I talked about my pets, and I talked about my jobs, and what I might do is I might try to take clips from that video and insert it into this one, see if that works. But for some reason, YouTube would not let me upload that video. So I'm gonna be trying. Anyway, so I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. Look forward to that. I'm gonna try to film it if I can, if they'll let me. I have no idea if they'll let me. But if they will, you'll see that. And yeah. Okay, so clips from that video, assuming this is uploaded, then it went well. So, on to that. sleeve rolled up and I've kind of been doodling on my arm because I'm absolutely bored out of my mind. So I thought I might as well uh, join you guys as I continue to make my tattoo. Yeah, uh, I haven't really talked much since my first day there, which went really well. But it's actually gone really well since then. The first job I had, I left because one of my co-workers and I uh, could not get along for our lives. She was not a manager, but she was kind of in authority, quote, quote. Like, uh, for, for more or less, I was kind of a janitor, and our job would be to go around and clean different areas. Like, I would have to clean off tables in a big area or I would have to clean out the bathrooms. That was the most common thing I did. There were a lot of bathrooms. A lot of bathrooms. And I would go around and clean them. And I actually kind of liked that job. It sounds terrible. Who wants to clean bathrooms for a living? But it wasn't bad. Be it was when she started bossing me around to do stupid things. Like, I remember she walked into the bathroom while I was cleaning it once. And she looked around the room, and I had just cleaned the place. It's not like I had just walked in there and it was dirty. I had just cleaned the place. So she goes in there, looking for something to complain about, is having trouble, and suddenly she looks at the walls. She looks at the walls and says, The walls in here are dirty. Go get a spray bottle and some paper towels and wipe down the walls. And then, she comes back, and because I washed the walls, now all the dust that was on the walls is on the floor. So get down on your hands and knees with paper towel and spray and wash the floor. I found out a way to get even with her, because that's what adults do. They get even with each other when they have disputes. They don't ignore their differences and get over it, they find petty ways to irritate the living daylights out of each other. So where I worked as a janitor, it was encouraged in order to keep spirits up for the employees to whistle and hum and sing. It was encouraged to help keep you focused on your job and keep your spirits up. So the next time my lovely co-worker co-worker, not even my boss, my co-worker, gave me an order to do. Oh, I didn't hesitate to do it. Oh, I would never talk back or cause problems. I would jump to it, ready, willing, and able to do that job. And she had a terrible habit of standing in the restroom while I'm cleaning it to micromanage me and show me how to do my job. Make sure I do it right and clean everything to the best of my ability. 
Well, she uh, willingly stopped joining me while I was cleaning. She stopped supervising me after maybe the 80th, 90th, maybe 100th chorus of the Itsy Bitsy Spider, where I just would not stop singing it. And I could sing it because singing is encouraged. So, yeah, she stopped checking in on me. I've had a few jobs. I had one job where I worked for two days. <laughs> two days. This guy opened up a coffee shop in our mall. So, I get there. First day for training. Boss is an hour late getting there. Hour late. And then I realize uh, he barely, barely speaks any English. Yeah. And I don't speak a word of whatever language he was speaking. So that went well. Uh, he, we got through that even though he barely spoke English and he was late. The next day, I, I was okay. I was like, you know what? He and I might not see eye to eye perfectly, but I can pick up this coffee shop thing. I can learn my own way. I can learn what the customers like, fill their orders. I can do this. I'm good. I can do this. And I get there. I was supposed to be there for 10 o'clock. And 10 o'clock comes and I'm there. 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock. 12.30. 12.45. 1 o'clock, one of the other owners of the stores in the mall, who knows the guy, had seen me waiting outside of the coffee shop, waiting for him to open up the doors, and waiting, and waiting. And that guy, thankfully, had called my employer. I'm so distracted, I'm not even doing my tattoo like I said I would. That guy had called my employer to find out where he was and what's going on and apparently my guy not only had slept in slept in but decided he wasn't coming to work that day he had better stuff to do he had some errands to run and stuff like that and I was so happy about that as you can imagine I was tickled pink about that development so that's my those are my stories of my some of my previous jobs but I love this one I'm at I'll draw a full circle I love this new job because it is a lot of exposure to people which is not something that I'm used to as a self-proclaimed introvert I more prefer one-on-one -on -one communication or working on my own, figuring out my own way of doing things, not being told what to do, or being threatened with having a manager called. Because that's fun. That I'm trying to think if there's anything going on that I could talk about that's interesting right now because I don't really have a lot going on. So this kind of be a quiet video if I just spend the rest of the time drawing on my arm. So yeah, this is my, somewhat, of my idea for my next tattoo. You probably can't see it too well, it just looks like a bunch of black lines and a red blob in it, but you'll get a closer view of it later when I'm done with it. Yes, this is a permanent marker. That's how brave I am. I'm gonna fill in the leaves now, got a lovely little green marker. Non-name brand. Hi, by the way. I always say how do you do, but I never say hi. How you doing? You want to tell me about your day? Oh, really? No, really, tell me about your day. Go on. You better be telling me about your day.
doing? Okay, my turn to talk again. You talk long enough. This is my video. Make your own video. <laughs> oh, so, uh, Southward Angel, my sister, just, uh, got a dog. Yeah. She just got married and now she got a dog. Resist. Resist the urge to make a joke. Resist the urge to make a joke. Moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, she got a dog. She named it, uh, Munchkin. It's a tiny, like, chihuahua, and it's, like, this big. And all it does is just sleep. It falls asleep on her arm, like, right there. And just sleeps forever. It's a lot of responsibility, getting a dog as soon as you get married. But it'll be good for her. Good little companion. Let's see, pets. That's an interesting topic, right? I've had lots of pets. Lots of pets. The first one I remember, aside from the cat we had at the time, whose name was Ellie, who was like the best cat ever. She was sweet. Well, she wasn't sweet. She was a jerk, but she was... She was very old, and that made her sweet in a strange kind of way. Like, a little old lady doesn't have to be sweet for you to think she's sweet and cute. It's just old cat equals adorable, I guess. She was like 15. She was an old cat. But yeah. So aside from her, I had a mouse. <laughs> cat and mouse. <laughs> but yeah, I had a mouse. And I named it. I wanted to name it something unique. You know, something a little different. And I loved messing with people at the time. Not that I still don't, because I do. But I loved messing with people at the time, so... I, uh, named the mouse something which nobody would be able to get until they gave up and then they would get it. I named the mouse. I don't know. Because people would try to guess its name. They would say, oh, it must be squeaky or... Uh, Mr. Big Ears, or stupid stuff like that. And I'd go, that's not the name, tell me the name. And they'd go, I don't, uh, how should I know what the name is? And I'd say, tell me the name. And they'd go, I don't know. And I'd go, you got it. So yeah, that was the joke. My mouse's name was I don't know. And then after the mouse, I got a hermit crab. I was trying to think for a second what, what was next. Got a hermit crab, named him... I think his name was Hermie. Hermie Hermit Crab. Very original. It was a strange kid. But yeah. He was cool. I got him a shell. It was blue and it was painted and it had the Superman symbol on it. I mean, it had a strange, slightly generic hero s symbol on it. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. That was Hermie. Had him for a while. Maybe, like, two years. I have no idea how long I had him. It was a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, he died. Everything dies. Like, I can't even keep a plant alive. I'm surprised I still have my cat. Cat, cat's good. Cat's alive. Cat's name is Whiskers. He's great. He's the weirdest cat ever because he's chill. And that's weird for a cat. He'll let you pick him up, pet him whenever you want to. Not on his terms. Whenever you want to. You can play with him. You can make him dress up in outfits. And he'll just lay there and he'll just ignore you. He's a great cat. So, yeah. Maybe I'll bring him on sometime. Let you guys meet him. So, yeah, I have him. After the hermit crab, a few years passed where we just had cats. We have three. Whiskers, T'Pring, and Baby. T'Pring you probably recognize from Star Trek. That's my sister's cat. That was Spock's bride-to-be, I guess. Betrothed. But, yeah. Those are the three cats we have. But, reel back a couple of years. Not even. Maybe like two years. Man. Feels like so long ago, but 
about two years ago, maybe, I got a bird. It was a little, like, parakeet. Something like that. I think it was a parakeet. It was blue. And I named it Ollie. And we knew nothing about birds, or how to take care of birds, or what they needed. Like, sunlight. <laughs> so, first time ever getting a bird. We got this massive cage for it. It was like, seriously, huge cage for it. Give it room to fly around, right? That's good. But then we put the giant massive cage down in the basement. Because our logic was birds smell really bad. And we wanted to keep that smell from getting to the rest of the house. So we put the cage <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> the dark, cold <laughs> basement. That's not funny. I know it's not funny, but I can't help but laugh. So, yeah. Um, Ollie was great. When we first got him, he would sing and he would fly around in the cage and he would make chirping noises. And then a, like a week or a week and a half went by and he stopped singing <laughs> and he stopped hopping around and he would just sit there and he was depressed. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, uh, about two weeks after we got him, uh, I came downstairs and he was dead. About two weeks after getting him, after being in the dark, cold basement, pretty much all alone. At night, I would come down and sit with him, and we'd play, and I had toys for him, and we'd hang out. But, yeah, I wonder, I wonder why. Yeah, so, uh... Needless to say, I uh, have not gotten another bird ever because I apparently don't know how to take care of birds. So that was bad. That was bad. But I've learned, okay? I've learned not to leave pets locked up in the basement. He had plenty of food and water. I would visit him every day, but it's depressing. And it's dark, <laughs> so, again, I shouldn't be laughing, but I am, because that's just funny. It's not funny he died, but it's, it's, it's kind of funny, but, yeah, I was dumb. I was really dumb back then. That was, like, two or three years ago. I want to say it's more like three or four, just to pretend it's been that long since I was that dumb, but, no, it was pretty recent. So, like two years. Whoopsie. <laughs> so yeah, I have not gotten another bird. Or another pet since then. We've had the cats for a few years. We had them while I had the bird. So, yeah. Uh, no more pets. <laughs> Just the cats. And the cats pretty much take care of themselves. We feed them twice a day. But other than that, they're totally independent. They just do their own thing. And I'm like... You be you. I'll be over here. But I can't show you it because of some reason. But I have a rose plant. <laughs> rose. I have a rose plant over here. It hasn't bloomed yet. It's just sticks and leaves right now. But I've been taking care of that for like two months now. It's grown and it's alive. So that's a good sign. Longer than I had the bird. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. I'll let you get a better look at it. Whoa, sorry for the close-up. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, that was fun. We had good time. Had a nice chat. Told you a little bit about my, my own life story. I hope you guys told me a little bit about your day and will continue to tell me down below. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I am not going to force you to. But yeah. So that was fun. Glad we got to talk a little bit. Even if this is entirely one-sided. It's nice to be able to talk to you guys. And if you guys made it all through this. Like, all this time. And you have still been watching and you're listening. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. It actually means a lot that people listen. And people give a hoot. <laughs> about what I have to say. So, 
thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Cycle it around to my outro. Whoa, focus. Ooh, that was scary. I'm staring at myself, by the way. I've been staring at myself this whole time. So it's, I literally am talking to myself. I'm looking at my webcam. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.